Hey guys, welcome back to another um, getting started with iOS development tutorial. This isn't really a getting started. It's like I just want to talk about emojis in Xcode and strings, how to detect them and how to use them in your strings. So emojis are actually quite complicated. Like they look simple at first, but the thing about some of them is um, they're actually combinations of other ones. So if I bring out the emoji viewer, uh, you press control, command, space, and you can see all these emojis. So if I go to the ones over here, these ones would have multiple things, are actually four separate ones, and um, it's actually very complicated, but it's we can simplify it down, it just might not work like perfectly. So most of these will be able to use just like normal strings, like if you're passing something, I think you can just use it as a normal string. You don't really need to worry about it too much, but if you want to make sure uh, the customer doesn't have emojis, then there's a few ways of doing it. So, if let's say you want to use emojis in um, your project, let me make a label here. So, just make a label, uh, put it in the center of the screen, and I'll just give it an outlet label. So if you want to just use emojis in your code, you could just do labels or text is equal to, and then here is an emoji, and then you press Control, Command, and Space, and you can get out these emojis, and uh, you can just click one of them, and you'll get it. So we can run this now to see how this will appear on the label. It'll appear basically the same as this. And then I'll show you guys how to detect emoji. So here's an emoji. And now let's create an extension. So you can create an extension of a string and then um, well, contains emoji. And this is going to return a bool for scalar in Unicode scalars. If scalar is um, dot properties. dot is emoji is true then you can return true uh, so this is our extension now we can check so let's just say uh, over here, uh, what's here oh and then um, else return false over here so now let's just check over here uh, what's wrong over here? Hmm. Okay, so if label dot text dot contains contains emoji is equal to true, then let's print the text contains emoji. So now it should print uh, true because yep and if we take this out then it should print false um, oh no it's just because it's not true so it's not print anything um, else print there is no emoji okay so yeah, other than that, you can pretty much use them kind of like any other string, like if you're passing this to a database, which I've done before, you can just pass it as a normal string, it'll encode itself, like you should probably try and encode it, but it will just encode itself, then when you take it back, it will decode itself, and these are actually the same Unicode letters like any other normal letter or number is, so it does work. The only problem is if you're going to Android, I don't think it works too well, or if you're on web or something like that, I don't think it works as well, but it still works quite well. So yeah, thanks for watching, and this is just how you use emojis simply in Swift or Xcode.